Hi, welcome to Carver County Library's Virtual Storytime, Monday Fun Day. My name is Jennifer and I'm glad you're joining me to share songs and stories tonight. Let's start with our welcome song. Come on in, it's story time, story time, story time. Come on in, it's story time, we're happy that you're here. Sit right down for story time, story time, story time. Sit right down for story time, we'll have a lot of fun. Settle in for story time, story time, story time. Settle in for story time, we're ready to begin. Well, we'll begin with our letter of the day. Let's see if you know what our letter is. What is our letter? It's the letter B. You're right. And that makes the B, B, B sound. Let's wiggle our fingers. Can we trace it? We're going to go down and around and around. Good job. Let's wiggle your fingers and do that again. We'll go down and around and around. Can you think of some words that start with our b, b, b sound? One of my favorite words starts with b, it's books. And I know an animal that sounds like our letter b. It's a bumblebee, Bzzz. Can you think of other words? Like maybe boots or boat or banana. Do you have any babies at home or big brothers? A lot of colors start with our word, our letter B. I'm wearing black. That has the B, B, B sound. Are you wearing any blue? If you are, raise your hand. How about brown? Can you look around? Do you see any brown? If you do, raise your hand. We're having stories today about bears. Can you give a bear a growl? And that starts with our letter B, B, B for bears. Well, you know what? As long as there have been people, they have been asking questions. Why did that happen? How does that work? And are we there yet? Well, it's a good thing we work in libraries because I love to find out all the answers to my how and why questions. Why do birds fly? How can fish breathe underwater? And why do T-Rexes have such short arms? And I can find out all those answers in books, magazines, DVDs, even databases. But what did people do before libraries, before schools, before books? They would use their five senses. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five. They'd use their eyes. Can you show me your eyes? And they'd look. They'd use their ears and listen. What'd they use their nose for? Would they smell and taste with their tongue and touch with their hands? And they would use all those senses to answer their how and why questions. They'd also use their brain to gather all that information and they'd share it in stories of how and why. And people all over the world did this. And I wanna share a how and why story with you about why the bear has a short tail or how the bear lost its long tail. And there's versions of these stories from Australia, Norway, and even right here with Native American stories. So we'll find out why the bear has a short tail. Now, if you've been to the zoo or seen pictures of bears, this is what I think of with the short tail. But a long time ago, when animals could talk, bear had a long tail. He had to be careful because if he didn't watch where he was walking, he could step on his tail and trip. His tail was beautiful and soft and fluffy and on cold nights, he'd curl up with it like a blanket. But Bear would brag. He'd tell all the other animals in the forest, my tail is better than yours. My tail is the most beautiful. Well, that made the other animals angry, especially the fox. The fox had his own 
beautiful orange red tail with just the white tip and it was long and fluffy too. And Fox did not like that Bear kept bragging that his was best. So Fox said, I'm gonna play a trick on that bear. So Fox took three fish and laid them on the grass and waited for Bear to come down the path. Pretty soon, here comes Bear. Can we do some big bear footprints stomping down the path? And as soon as Bear saw Fox, he says, oh, my tail is better than yours. And Fox says, oh yeah, I caught these three fish with my tail. I bet you can't catch three fish with your tail. Bear said, what? You caught fish with your tail? Why, yes, said Fox. I put my tail in that cold river and I had to wait a long time. And I felt a pinch and a snap and I knew the fish were biting. And I kept waiting and waiting and it got colder and I caught three. Well, Bear says, my tail is better than yours. I can stay in that cold river longer than you and catch more fish. Well, good luck, said Fox. I'm going home to have dinner with my fish. So Bear went over to the river and put his tail in the water. Oh, it was cold. And he had to wait a long time. And finally he felt a pinch and a snap. And he says, yes, I've got one fish. I'm gonna get more than Fox. I'm gonna wait all night and then see how many I have for breakfast. And so Bear settled down and fell asleep. When Bear woke up, there was snow on the ground and he could see his breath, but he was excited to see how many fish he got. And he tugged on his tail. It was stuck. He looked, there was ice frozen on the river and there was ice all around his tail. So he tugged again and it was stuck. But Bear is very strong. So he grabbed the tail and he yanked as hard as he could and he fell over on the grass. And he was excited to see how many fish he had. But he had no fish and no long tail because it had snapped in half by the ice. And he just had this little stump left. And that's why a bear has a short tail. And that's why nowadays bears hunt fish with their paws and their teeth. And that's why a bear has a short tail. And if you want to find out more information about bears, you can come to the library and find books about bears. You can find magazines about bears. This one even says B is for bear. You can find DVDs, but you know what? You don't have to wait to come to the library right at home. When we're done with this story time, you can get on your computer and devices and find out more facts about bears. You can go to our website at www.carverlib.org. That's www.carverlib, -E like bear, .org. And you can go to resources. We have Pebble Go that has all kinds of stuff for uh, preschool and elementary age about animals and games. We have Britannica that I always think of for older kids, but we have preschool and elementary age Britannica. We have one of my favorites, which is book flicks, and you can find a fact book about bears and a pretend book, uh, like Bear Snores On. We also have some of these in Spanish. And if you speak Spanish or are studying at La Academia, we have World Book Encyclopedia in Spanish, and you can find out all the answers to your how and why questions. And grownups, remember that there's another important question. What? What happens next? When you ask your kids, what do you think happens next before you turn that page in the book? That helps with their comprehension skills. So to find out all about your how and why and what happens next, check things out at the library and online at our website with our databases. Well, you know what? You've been great listeners and I'm ready to do a song. Are you ready for a song? We're gonna do an American folk tale and it's a call and response. And that's sort of like an echo. If you've ever been in a cave and you say, hello, you'll hear back, hello, hello, hello. And so I'm gonna say something 
and then I need you to help me and say it back. So I'll say, hello, and you'd say, hello. Well, we're going to go on a bear hunt. And so we need to make some walking noises. You can make walking noises with your hands, or you can stand up at home and you can march in place. Or you say, here we go. We're going on a bear hunt. You say, we're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna find a big one. We're gonna find a big one. I'm not afraid. How about you guys? Are you afraid? Are you brave? Let me hear it. I'm not afraid. It's a beautiful day. All right, here we go. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna find a big one. We're gonna find a big one. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Uh-oh. There's some tall grass. Can you reach up tall, tall, tall? Oh, taller than that. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go around it. We're gonna have to go through this tall grass and it's gonna go swish, swish, swish. Here we go, swish, 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 swish. Okay, we're through the grass. We're ready to walk some more. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna find a big one. We're gonna find a big one. I'm not afraid. Are you? No. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Uh-oh. We found a river. It's a cold river. I wonder if this is the one where Bear went fishing. Well, I don't see a bridge anywhere, so we can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go around it. We'll have to splash through it. All right, put on your life preserve or your floaties. Are you ready? It's cold. Ready to splash through? Splash, 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 splash. Ooh, brr. All right, we're on the other side. We're gonna walk some more. We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna find a big one. We're gonna find a big one. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Uh-oh. There's all kinds of mud all over. It's ooey and squishy. Oh, well, we can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go around it. We're gonna have to squish through that mud. Are you ready? Squish, 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 squish. Oh, we're off of that mud. Let's go, we're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna find a big one gonna find a big one. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Uh-oh. We're to the forest and there's lots of tall trees close together and there's roots all over the ground. If you aren't careful, you'll trip. We're gonna have to tiptoe through these trees. Are you ready to tiptoe? Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Oh my goodness. Well, now we're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. We're gonna find a big one. We're gonna find a big one. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. Uh-oh. There's a big cave. It's really dark. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go around it. Oh, we're gonna have to go in this cave. Are you sure you're not afraid? I need some brave people out there. All right, we're gonna go in this cave. Oh, it's really dark. It's hard to see anything. Put your hands out in front of you. Can you feel anything? Oh, there's something furry there. And it's really tall and it has a wet nose. It's a bear. Oh my goodness, let's run out of that cave. Tiptoe through the trees. Tiptoe, 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 run through. We're to the mud. Can you squish, 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 squish? Run. We're to that cold river. Ready? Splash, 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 splash. Run some more. We're to that grass. Swish, 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 swish. Run back home. Open the door. Close the door. Oh, we're all back home safe. I'm glad you went on a bear hunt with me and figured out your how and my questions about 
affairs. If you want to answer all your how and why questions, visit your library to find out in books, magazines, DVDs, and even at home now. You can find out answers to all your questions with our databases with Pebble Go, Britannica, and BookFlix. Thanks for sharing songs and stories with me tonight. We'll do our goodbye song. We'll say, now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Thanks for joining me.